Hello YouTube, I'm here today with another review. This one, oh this one. This one is for the Tamashi Nation Web Exclusive comic version Rockman X D Arts. This is the best thing ever made. This is the single, this is my favorite figure. This is the crown jewel of any figure collector. This is, if you've ever looked around eBay for Mega Man XD Arts, this is that one that's like $300, and you don't know why. Um, let me tell you why. Why is because it is, it's a web exclusive. It's, it was limited, they didn't release that many, and it was exclusive to Tamashii Nation's web, and it's based on the manga version of X from um, Evil Moto's Mega Man X manga series. I have one of those right here just to let you see. Here, here's the manga. Um, it, it's really big. Cool. Yeah, here's the manga. He's based off of this. Uh, to show you some of the pictures. This one right here is good design. And this this is what this figure is based off of. It's based off of this man's artwork for this version of Mega Man X, which I think is very nice. This is my favorite version of X. One of my favorite versions of X. And they gave it to you in figure form with a couple cool little um, throwbacks to the manga. So let's go ahead and start the review. I'm going to move this guy out of the way here. I'm going to start with the box. This box is amazing. It's not your traditional window style D arts that showcases the figure. It's just kind of a generic blue box with a picture of the artwork on the front here for Iwamoto. It just says D arts. See down here it says Tamashi Nation 2011. Um, on the side here, <laughs> some funny little doodle thing of Mega Man, it says DR Rockman X. The back doesn't even actually have a picture of him or anything. It just has this. It shows the logos again. It says Rockman X. It shows a little silhouette of the figure. And this is the same side. The top, generic nothing. And the bottom, uh, gobbledygook. That was racist. And I just really love this box. It reminds me a lot of the Mega Armor series, how it just has a picture of the artwork on the front. And it's really nice for display. You can have this box out and have it look nice and not just some plastic window that, uh, you know, looks like poop. So, I'm getting poop today. And so here is the figure. Oh, I'm not going to move him around. I'm not going to move the arm articulation or anything. I have him in a nice pose. I really like this pose. Uh, I try to get all my D arts into really nice poses that I like, and this one's no exception. And I want to be really careful. This one cost me two hundred seventy-two dollars, which is a lot. So let me show you here. Here's his face. It's bloodied and messed up. It's got the manga Iwamoto eyes. It looks nice. His Buster. He has a broken buster as well as just a normal buster. But uh, they have a broken buster with this one because his buster gets broken a few times in the manga. He's a little bit incompetent. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice figure. I love it. And it's what? Our one, two, three, four, five, so like our fifth. Yeah, it's our fifth incarnation of an X figure. And this is probably my favorite. I really like it. Um, the back here. There's only minor differences in this one aside from the normal design for X, so you should only get it if you want to spend a lot of money or if you really like the manga and you like this because it's not much different than the normal X in terms of the figure itself. Um, you know, his, his hand is blue as to where the normal X has a white hand and his little, um, on the helmet, I don't know what you call these, his little 
eyebrow type things, little outlines around the sides and the top of his helmet are silver instead of light blue. And his little boober plates, can't really see because of the arms, but the, those are the same kind of dark blue as his armor. So it doesn't look, or it's not much different in terms of the actual figure, but it is very different in terms of what it looks like and stuff. So um, if you like this figure, I would buy it. I would definitely buy it. You can find it still for a uh, pretty penny on eBay and Amazon. I would go for it while you have the chance. And um, that was my figure review on the Mega Man X Tamashii Nations comic version D-Arts. So if you liked it, like the video, share the video. You can leave a comment down below. And if you want, you can hit that subscribe button. I post more figure reviews all the time. So thank you. And uh, have a good day.